Fortnite just made a big change and mistake here in Fortnite Battle Royale after the recent update that's going to be causing all of you guys a chance to earn a free refund ticket and a full V-Buck refund on some of your cosmetics. We're going to be giving you guys all the information you need to know, so make sure to keep watching to the end of the video. You're not going to want to miss it. And we send a gift to a lucky subscriber in every single video here on the channel. So if you guys want a chance to get gifted any of the new skins, like some of the brand new Star Wars collab skins that just came back into the item shop, it's very easy. All you have to do to get a gift in the next video is drop a like. Like, make sure you are subscribed to the channel with notifications turned on and also leave your epic usernames down in the comments below so I can add you and send you the gift and a big shout out to everyone using supporter creator code nerf you guys are absolute legends so thank you all for the support man I'm really really tempted to land tilted towers just to show you guys the new map changes because we didn't cover it in yesterday's video but tilted is actually pretty destroyed right now which I think is pretty funny tilted always seems to get annihilated but we were also on a really good win streak and I am very scared to land there and have it be a hot drop and we just get obliterated so I think I'm gonna go Rocky back out of here yep I knew it I was like dude I had a feeling someone was gonna land here might as well use some of my gold I feel like I never I never really use my gold too often so it's kind of worth it upgrading your weapons but diving right into the video there's actually a specific reason I decided to switch my skin up for the first time in a bit and actually put on the regular jewel skin here from way back in chapter 2 season 2 for those of you guys that played back in those days you would know who Jules is it was a storyline character who's actually related to Midas and we later found out that she's actually the daughter of Midas in the whole Fortnite lore and storyline, which was pretty cool. Now, the reason this skin is so relevant is because after the last downtime update that just came out in Fortnite Battle Royale yesterday, they actually made some cosmetic changes to one of the versions of the jewel skin known as Beach Jewels, which is probably one of the more popular versions of the skin. And it was actually released for last year's summertime event where we got a bunch of brand new styles and basically beach and summer versions of all the skins in chapter 2 season 2 which uh, everyone seemed to really enjoy like I said beach jewels was by far the most popular the design and everything looked really really good all right this is why I wanted to come over to tilted to show you guys of course right when I come over here there's a stupid purple fog but uh, as you guys can see tilted is an absolute war zone and this is actually gonna end up being one of the final areas that we have to battle the imagined order for control over before they basically just only have command cavern in the fortress and then of course over here in Loot Lake is where the live event is going to take place at the end of the season. But uh, that's for a whole nother video. I just wanted to show you guys real quick because we didn't cover this in yesterday's video. And um, Tilted being absolutely annihilated like this was a part of some of the map changes made in that update. And I have no idea how these are floating still. Wait. Oh, I guess maybe you can't break the turrets. What the heck? Bro, this tank is literally in the water. Wait, what? Will it break? Wait, can it just be? Okay, I was like, there's no way. Yeah, <laughs> that's what you get for sitting in the tank, dude. Get that out of here. Now, I know for some of you guys, you might be thinking, well, Beach Jewels pretty much looks the exact same, but I will put up a before and after image comparing these so you guys can get a rough idea. But the main thing they ended up changing, and no one really knows why, is the actual skin tone and basically like the skin color of Jules herself. In the earlier versions, she was a little bit whiter and pastier, and in the new update, they decided to revamp the color of her skin and they made her a little bit darker not necessarily like in the terms of like darker skin but just like the overall skin pigment is very like gray and just weird like it, it honestly it, it doesn't really look right after seeing the original version of jewels obviously some people might like this but i feel like the beach version was supposed to be very bright and everything along with her dark color scheme and she basically just looks very unsaturated and is if Epic Games just forgot to like finish the skin. And like I said, it, it comes down to personal preference, but I think a lot of people are not gonna like these changes and Epic Games actually knows that. So they're doing something that is very, very rare for them to do in Fortnite. Since this skin got a pretty drastic change and it does look pretty different from the original, obviously a lot of people might not enjoy the new changes they made. So they're actually giving players a chance to refund Beach Jewels for free without using any refund tickets on their Fortnite account. So even if you have zero lifetime Time return request you would be able to refund this for the next 30 days and actually get your full amount of V-Bucks back on your Fortnite account for what you purchased it for which I'm pretty sure this skin was 1200 V-Bucks now if you guys actually own the skin as well whenever you first log into Fortnite after the update went out yesterday I do own the skin and I actually did get this pop-up but it will give you a little reward screen prompt that pretty much says 
We've made some changes to this cosmetic. If you are no longer satisfied with your purchase, you can request a refund anytime before June 2nd, 2022 using the in-game flow with no refund token required. Thanks for playing. So that's pretty much Epic Games way of letting everyone know, hey, we made some changes to your skin. If you're not really a big fan of the new changes, we're going to let you refund it for free with your full money back and without using any tickets, which, uh, like I said, is something that's very, very rare. And we've only actually had Fortnite and Epic Games do this one other time in literally the last four and a half years of Fortnite's existence, which is why I think it's pretty cool. Like whenever something very rare happens in Fortnite, especially along the lines of like the refund tickets and all that, it's, it's always fun to share and make videos on it because you never really know when it's actually going to happen again. Now, once this game is over, for those of you guys that might be wanting to refund this or you've just never known or seen what the refund system looks like, I'll actually be showing you guys exactly what it looks like since I do own the skin. It, it'll actually give me the prompt and I'll show you guys a step-by-step -step tutorial real quick on how to do it. It's very easy, but um, it's definitely something that if you don't know where to look, it's a little bit hard to find. Fortnite doesn't really make the whole refund thing very clear. Obviously, they probably don't want you to refund stuff because then that means you're getting your money back, but uh, I'll definitely be showing you guys later in the video. Yeah, there we go. That's what you get for sitting in the tank. This is not good, but we have a med miss, so it's actually, it's not too bad. Oh, that rocket almost hit him. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that would have been so sick if that rocket hit that guy. Also, just because I am curious, let me know down in the comment section below of all of you guys watching this video, how many of you guys own the Beach Jewel skin and how many of you guys that actually own it are planning on using this opportunity to refund it and get some of your V-Bucks back. Like I said, I know the uh, changes to the skin might not be popular for a lot of people. Um, so I'm curious to see how many of you guys are going to be refunding it. There we go. Get me the heck out of here. I do not like being out in the open like this. Yeah, there we go. Yep, get the heck out of here. If I can keep my distance from these freaking lightsaber guys, then we are looking all right. But the moment they get really close, they're just going to block your shots and then dice you up. So, uh, is this guy lost or what is he doing? All right, well, that's a GG. <laughs> I have no idea what this last guy was doing, but that is a GG, boys. We actually popped off there at the end of the video. We ended off with seven eliminations. Not our greatest game, but we'll definitely take it. Now we can head back to the lobby, and I'm going to show you guys real quick before we end the video what it looks like when you have the skin, and you can actually refund it for zero tickets and where to go. The main reason I think a lot of people don't know how to do this is because most people just go through, like, the main tabs here in the menu. But in order to see your lifetime return request, you need to come over here to the settings, and then once you're in the settings, you need to go all the way over to the right hand side under account and privacy And you can go three down to return request and then this is where you're gonna click and you guys can see here It'll show how many return request tickets available you actually have so I'm pretty sure every single chapter resets you back to three So we currently have three because we've not used one if you have used one in the last two seasons Then obviously it will only show two or one or zero depending on how many items you've refunded But as you guys can see it says beach jewels free refund and uh, it actually says that you're able to return this without using any lifetime from here you literally can just click whatever you want items not as respected and then you could literally submit your return request obviously i don't really care for the changes too much i'm not going to give up the skin because i like it but for those of you guys that wanted the refund i just wanted to show you real quick exactly how to do it but that's all i got for you guys in today's video if you enjoyed it don't forget to drop a like subscribe to the channel if you're brand new and let me know down below how many of you guys actually own this skin and are going to be refunding it with the brand new changes in the color and skin tone and just overall saturation of the skin it just doesn't look as vibrant as it used to and honestly i know a lot of people aren't going to be fans so let me know down below but thanks for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next one take it easy my friends